All right. So mobile net was introduced by the Google engineers in 2017 and uh, it was designed for efficient deployment over the mobile devices and embedded devices. Because the mobile devices and the embedded devices have a constraint that's the power constraint, memory constraint and obviously a computation constraint. They wanted a kind of deep learning neural network which can perform better with the less number of the parameter. With the help of this mobile net, they had achieved that with the remarkable accuracy and very less number of the parameter. With the traditional neural network, it was only 10 to 15% of the parameter with almost equal accuracy with the help of mobile net. There are some technical details with the mobile net. There are few uh, few important things which got introduced in the mobile net like depth wise convolutional filter and uh, uh, the point wise convolutional filter. These are the few things which, which got introduced with the mobile net there. So I'm just going to write those things which got introduced with the mobile net. The first they got there, I mean in the mobile net they used the technology which is known as here a depth wise separable depth wise separable convolutional neural network and the second one they had their point wise convolutional neural network all right the third point they had their depth uh, width multiplier And the fourth point, they had there the resolution multiplier. So these are the four things which was introduced in the mobile net. And, and by combining these four things together, mobile net achieved a remarkable accuracy. And uh, there were uh, many variants of the mobile net also got introduced. So depending on your application and the memory, memory and computation power, whatever I mean uh, you have there, based on that you can select their width multiplier and the resolution multiplier to adjust the accuracy and the total number of parameters in the mobile net. So the main component in the mobile net is depth-wise separable convolutional neural network and the point-wise convolutional neural network. Let's go ahead and try to understand that what are these two type of convolutional neural network and how these convolutional neural network improved the improved the, uh, uh, the space requirement or space complexity and also improved the training time there. So let's say you have your uh, uh, image input image some height uh, with the some height and width like x and y and uh, this is three channel image suppose that so there you have a depth of this image is three only and uh, suppose that now you have your filter there and the filter size is three by three here all right and the depth of your filter is 16 here all right so this one is your filter kernel size And this one is the number of channels there. If you apply this filter, if you do the convolution with this filter over this X and the Y, then you achieve here some output, all right, a volume output. And this volume output will be having here a 16 channel depth there along with x and y their uh, uh, input size on given that the padding is used as the same padding. Alright, so in that case you will be getting here the same size of input and output but the number of channel will get changed to the 16. So the total number of parameter is required for this operation is, is total number of parameter required for this operation is here we have here 3 cross 3 multiplied by 16 there. So 3 cross 3 multiplied by 16 
and then these are also multiplied by with the number of channels there what we have in previous number of channels so that get multiplied by uh, their uh, three there so this is the total number of parameter which you can count as here 3 into 3 into 3 which is 27 multiplied by 16 here so this total parameter becomes here 432 there and in case of the depth wise separable convolution how this works there so you have here total 16 channels and uh, there are total you have a three input channel so how does this work in case of the depth wise separable convolution these 16 channels so these individual uh, uh, these individual filters you see whatever these individual filters are here these individual filters gets applied for the individual layer in your inputs in input images so it becomes like if you if you see this then total it becomes like let's say uh, three uh, uh, it will be like this x by x by y and for the this is for channel number one for channel number two you get here x y y and similarly this is for channel number three you get here x y y there all right so then individual filters are applied here which is three by three filters are here so you see there three filters gets applied on the three channel and whatever the output comes here in the traditional convolutional neural network generally they add these output to produce a single feature there so this one is traditional convolution neural network but in depth wise separable convolution they separate these depth so what they make here they make there a three channel here all right so it becomes there one two and three so they actually concatenate these all right so this becomes a depth wise convolution here Alright, so this becomes depth wise convolution. This is the first part. Then in the next part, they do here a point wise convolution here. So on this whole part, what they calculated here on this particular path, now they are going to do here a point wise convolution. So on the point wise convolution, they apply here. If I just uh, uh, replace it here, now they have these concatenated feature here x and y for the three channel so this depth will be here this is three depth and then they apply here one by one convolutional filter and the depth of this convolutional filter will be three here that will get adjusted automatically and there will be total number of 16 uh, total number of 16 channels this number of channels need to match here these number of channels all right so these are the total 16 number of channels now these separable one by one convolutional neural networks are done then they produce here the output the total volumetric output will be x and y and the total number of channels will be here 16 there so this is kind of the process where you do a depth wise convolution and then plus you do the point wise convolution. So with the help of these two parameters, these two techniques, depth wise and the point wise convolution, in mobile net they are able to achieve their remarkable accuracy and also very less number of parameters. Let's go ahead and calculate the number of parameters required with the help of depth wise and the point wise calculations. So what happens here if you compare the number of parameters in the first step, how much number of parameters, how many number of parameters were needed there. So there are actually here one, two and three filters were there. So three separate filters were needed there total. All right. Three multiplied by and the filters 3 into 3 that's the filter size there is total 27 parameters were needed 
in the first step. In the second step where we did the point-wise convolutional neural network, in that step the total number of parameters they needed, that's the 3 cross 16 there. Alright, so it's like 1 cross 1 cross 3, that's the filter size and cross 16 total number of features that becomes total 48. Now if we combine depth wise and point wise together, in the depth wise we are getting here 27 and then we are adding this 48 together, then we are getting here the total number of parameters, alright 75. Thereafter if you compare the number of parameters there, relative number of parameters, you can clearly see that we had here 432 parameters for same type of convolution, I mean for same output, you can clearly see there the number of, I mean the shape of this output is x, y, y cross 16 and the shape of output is again here x, y, y 16. So we have here 75 versus in the traditional we have 432 parameters. If you get the ratio of the number of parameters used in this, you can say that 75 divided by uh, uh, 432, which is kind of the 17% here. So we did the same thing with only 17% of the parameter. So here we are saving like uh, 80 to 85% uh, the parameter. So where hypothetically assume if, if, if traditional convolutional neural network is using 100 million parameter, then the mobile net network can use only 17 million parameter. This is huge advantage here. Alright, now you can see here we have mobile net architecture. In mobile net architecture, there are many, uh, uh, there are many convolutional neural network which are using here depth wise convolutional neural network. You can see all these are depth wise convolutional neural network and there are many convolutional neural network which are being used as the point wise convolutional neural network. So overall this mobile network resulted in very small uh, uh, network with very good accuracy. Here we have comparison of mobile net, uh, mobile net network. On image net data, mobile net uh, uh, network got almost 71% of the accuracy. With the with the convolutional mobile net, with, with the traditional traditional uh, convolutional mobile net, and the total number of parameters was there 29 million parameters. I mean to say that without using depth wise and point wise convolutional neural network, and uh, with the help of the depth wise and the point wise convolutional neural network, that means with the help of mobile net, they achieved almost the same accuracy with only a small uh, uh, a uh, small decrement in the accuracy, but almost uh, uh, 10 times, or you can say 8 to 9 times better parameters there, I mean less parameters here. So whatever you can train here in 10 hours and at this place you can train that in just 1 hour. So there is huge amount of money saving during the training of the network as well. Along with that, two more parameters I to, uh, I, I had told you in uh, there that width multiplier and resolution multiplier. So with the help of width and resolution multiplier, uh, uh, the authors were able to make different versions of the mobile net in that they were able to achieve lesser and lesser parameter. Here they have just 0.5 million parameter but the image net accuracy got decreased to the 50% but in that case the total number of parameter is just 50, uh, I mean 0.5 uh, million parameter. If you have a very easy task then for that case you can use their 0.25 mobile net with only less number of parameter if there are computations and the battery devices constraints are there. Along with that there was the resolution uh, multiplier. So resolution multiplier is here. So on the on the training image, the size of image was 224 pixels. As the image size changes, number of multiplications and the addition gets changed there. 
so if these size gets changed then the number of multi number of multiplication and additions also get changed there so this resolution also can be decreased from the 224 to 128 where it will it it will just take 186 million parameters it's almost four times less parameter by reducing by, by reducing resolution by half just i mean to say that if you have 224 image size and if you reduce this image size to 128 by 128 then you can decrease your you, you can increase inference and the training by almost four times there that's when the million of number of the multiplication and addition is needed which is just one by four there all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one